Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another subscription. Y'all all know that this is one of my favorites. It is the Deck of Scarlet. Comes in a box just like this and you open it up and we've got our little card. This month's artist in chief is Amy Rose Walker. This is all of her info, her YouTube, uh, Instagram, and Snapchat. She is a fellow YouTuber. And then up under here, we have the goodies for this month. If you'll notice, it's a little messy. Unfortunately, my palette this month did come a little bit damaged. But I've already talked to customer service and they're going to take care of it for me. But I wanted to go ahead and film for y'all. So... I made what I could work and created this look. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you are these extras. We have an eyeliner in Twilight. Looks like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and swatch that for y'all. Uh, it's kind of a dark brown color. Then. We have a lip liner in Bell. Looks like this. Swatch that right up under here. And it is a very nice kind of nude peachy color. Definitely like it. Most of the lip liners I currently have are really dark. So a lighter lip liner is amazing. Um, and this is super creamy. It doesn't tug or anything crazy. It went on so easy. Okay, so then we have the palette, which is everybody's favorite part. So it comes in this little unicorn here. Got some info on the back. And you just slide it out. And this is edition number five. And usually they open in two spots, but this one just opens all together. And what came broken I will show y'all in just a second but you get your usual your three eyeshadows your two lip colors this time we have more of a bronzer and then a slightly darker highlight so I'm going to swatch these two lip colors first and these are going to be hard to do uh, the bronzer broke and it kind of got into my lip colors but no biggie um, we're just going to go ahead and swatch them how we can so this first color is called Pinky Promise, and it is actually almost a perfect match to that lip liner. And then this second color is called Sass Queen, and this is a very, very bright pink. Okay, so now for the eyeshadows because that's my favorite part. There is a nude, a gold, and a purple. The nude is called Dream. The gold is called Gold Digger. And the purple, which is so pretty, is called Luna. If you can see those right there. Okay, and then over here on the side, I'm going to swatch the bronzer, which is Dusk, and it's really easy, or it was for me, I think it was easy to blend out, and then there's the highlighter called Prosecco, and if you want to compare it to like Prosecco Pop, it actually looks a little closer to Champagne Pop, it's got more of a peachy vibe. So we have our bronzer is right here. And our highlight is right there. So this is everything in the palette. I know it's kind of messy. But these are all the shades you get. And uh, I created this look. I used everything in here and everything that came with it. Except I hardly ever use these. Uh, Y'all know I always do my makeup in the morning. So I need it to last through my work day. But that is edition number five. We are about to switch over to voiceover mode, and I'm going to show you how to create this look. Of course, I had to use, you know, different foundation. I used a different lipstick, mascara, whatever, but I will show you how to create the majority of this look 
with the products in the subscription. Just a refresher, the subscription is about $30. You get it every other month and they always pick like a, I'm not gonna say a small YouTuber because these people usually have like 300,000 followers, but they pick someone who hasn't quite made it yet. They don't use people like Jaclyn Hill or Laura Lee and I love them. They, but I appreciate that they use people who are still like they've done really well but they're still trying to get all the way there and I love that about this company and like I always say Deck of Scarlet if you're watching one of these days I would love to do a palette with you it would make my my whole life happy but uh if you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that button hit the bell so you can get notified and we're just gonna get right into this tutorial Okay guys, first thing first, I'm going to go into Dream and just lay that down all over the lid. Uh, you can do this with a transparent powder, but for this palette, I thought this would be a good color to just set my MAC Paint Pot with. I put that on before I got started. Then I went into Luna. I don't typically use a shimmer in my crease, but for this palette, I thought, you know, since this is the only darker color really in there, it would work out. There's not a transition color under it, but it's still laid down very nicely and worked very well. Um, I think this just gives me a really good, like, smoked out look. It took a little while to get everything even and ready to go, but I managed to make it work. And as you'll see, since I have hooded eyes, I do have to go up a little higher than people without hooded eyes do that way you can still see what I have in my crease and it doesn't all just disappear when I open my eyes so next I went into gold digger I just picked that up on my finger and laid it down on my eyelid. This is super pigmented, very shiny, and just gorgeous. I absolutely love this color, but y'all know I just love a good gold anyways. And this was really easy to work with. Like as soon as I laid it down, it was there. Just a couple little swipes and I had the pigment I wanted. So now I'm going to grab this eyeliner, Colors Twilight. I swatched it earlier and just put that in my waterline. It is not the absolute best for a waterline, but it does work. It took a little bit, and I think had I warmed it up, it probably would have worked better, but it was still pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so to speed it up even more, I went ahead and put Luna in my waterline. And then went into Prosecco and just put that in my inner corner. It is super gorgeous. And I also put it on my brow bone with a cleaner fluffy brush. Then I went into Dusk and just used this to highlight, or not highlight, but to contour my face. And I just put it in all the regular contour spots and blended it out really well. If you are super fair like I am, it's going to take a little extra blending, but it still definitely works. And this is a really nice color. And I'm just using a Morphe contour brush for this. Now I'm going to take my M501 and Prosecco and go ahead and highlight all the high points of my face. If you can't tell, this is blinding. Absolutely gorgeous highlight. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take that lip liner in Bell and go ahead and apply that to the edges of my lips. And slow it back down just a little bit and I'm gonna get that applied to the edges of my lips and try to draw that little X on my cupid's bow just to be sure I have everything lined up how it needs to be and then fill my lips in for a little added color this lip liner is incredible and works very well absolutely love it Now I'm going to take a different lipstick and I'm going to take Androgyny from Jeffree Star and just go ahead and put that on. thought it would complement the look nicely and I needed something that would stay through the entire work day. 
So that is what I went with. And since this is almost the last thing, I just want to go ahead and tell y'all if you have any questions or anything else you would like to see, leave that in the comments. And I have one thing left to do, and I'm going to take my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray and shake it up really, really well, like really well, and spray my face with it just to give me a dewy look. This is the end of this video. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye, you guys.